going to post a series of entry questions in SAP FICO. So every day I'll be posting one or two videos on the entry questions. So in those videos, I will be discussing and explaining you the entry questions along with the answers. So I request all of you to subscribe to my channel, to share and like, and also hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get the up updates. So this video series is very, very important for you, right? To appear for the interviews, okay? So in today's session, we are going to discuss one question. This question is related to accounts payable component, right? So what is the additional log in accounts payable payment program and how it can be used in troubleshooting? Again, I'm repeating the question. What is the additional log in the accounts payable payment program and how it can be used in the troubleshooting, right? So first, let us log into the system. Then I will show you where we can see these settings for that. First, let us log into the system. See here, additional log tab is there in the transaction code F110. This transaction code F110 is used to execute the automatic payment program. So first let us go to that screen, F110, automatic payment transactions. So let us give the run date, 2510-2023. Identification, SSPM. Then click on parameters tab. You enter the company code, SSBN, payment method C. Then next payment to run date, 2016-2023. Now you can see the additional log tab here. So if you click on this additional log tab, right? Here you can see the required login type. So on this screen only, the entry question is there. That is, what is the additional log in the art? accounts payable payment program and how it can be used the troubleshooting. Now, let us try to understand one by one, right? Now, you have the due date check. So what is the significance of this due date check? If you press F1, you can see the SAP documentation. Indicator that the due date checking should be logged for open items. Means if you select this checkbox, the system will maintain the log of due dates. The system will maintain the log of due dates for all the open items which have been selected and for which the payment has been done. Then you have the another checkbox, payment method selection in all cases. You again, select the checkbox and click on F1. See, indicator that the selection of the payment method and the bank is recorded in the log. That means here, the system will maintain the log of payment method used and also the bank from which the payment method has been used for all the open items of the vendors, right? Who has been selected in the payment program. Then this is very important. See, this checkbox will help you in setting out the, in setting right the errors, right? In solving your tickets. Select payment method selection if not successful means here, sometimes there may be some errors during the payment program. Like sometimes the system will not select any invoices of any vendors into automatic payment program. Or sometimes it may not select some invoice of the some vendors in the automatic payment program. So what is the reason for that? Right? Here, the attempted selection of the payment method and the banks in the log is recorded if no permissible payment method or no permissible bank are found. During the payment program execution, if the system does not find the relevant payment methods, right, then the system will not generate the proposal or it will stop the payment program, right? In that case, what is the reason for stopping the payment program? So with the help of this checkbox, with the help of this log, you can understand what is the reason for not generating the proposal. In that case, right, 
the system will maintain the log of attempted selection of the payment method even though you did not maintain the payment methods in the vendor master record the system will propose you that you can maintain this type of payment methods in the vendor master record so that is the meaning of this see indicator that the attempted selection of the payment method and the banks in the log is recorded if no permissible payment method or no permissible banks are found so by means of this log means with the help of this log it is to be recognized whether corrections must be made in the business partner master record so business partner master record means vendor master record right normally as per the automatic payment procurement is concerned it is the vendor master record so with the help of this log right you can understand that okay you have to maintain these payment methods in the vendor master record so like that this check box or this type of log can be used in setting rate your errors during the automatic payment program execution then line items of the payment documents means the system will maintain the line items the system will maintain the line items of the payment documents that have been generated automatically because of the automatic payment program execution and these line items are printed in the proposals right and also other payment documents so this is the explanation of every check box and these logs are to be maintained for which vendors right these logs are to be maintained for which vendors for that you can maintain the vendor numbers here from number and to number so you can maintain the entire vendor numbers or you can also define or also you can enter only those vendors for whom you want the system to maintain this type of logs right and this is the explanation for your understanding but in the interview you did not give this much of explanation right you just have to say that with the help of this additional log if there are any errors in the payment run due to the missing or inc incorrect master data settings in the vendor master records and due to some negative balances in the vendor master record because of the credit memos etc so all these errors will be reported by the system in these logs normally this is only the answer you have to give normally right this question is asked by the interviewers when you claim that you have worked in the support projects right so this normally this is taken care by support team members only right again i'm repeating the answer in the short form you need not tell you you need not explain this much to the interviewers you just have to say one or two sentences that's it with the help of this log right we can understand the reasons for the errors in the automatic payment program so the errors may be due to the missing of information of payment methods in the vendor master record and due to the debit balances in the vendor master records so with the help of this logs right we can separate all these errors that is only the answer you have to give that's it right so i hope you enjoyed this video right and i request everybody right to please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon share the video like the video so tomorrow i will be meeting with you with another video thank you